Hello, I'm going to show you a super easy eyeshadow look that you can even glam up a little bit and get a little dressier look at night with just four colors. But before I start, as you know, I have these um, discoloration on my eyelids, so I want to prime my eyelids. What I use to prime my eyelids is my concealer, which is my also my highlight that I use on the rest of my face. It works as a primer a concealer because it holds the product and keeps it where you want it and then um, it will you can use it as your eyeshadow primer too so I'm just using my finger taking it putting it on my eyelid covering up that discoloration it's gonna give the eyeshadow something to cling to just put it on there and again that's just my highlighter so it's doing double duty it in the corner if you have discoloration there whatever you'd like now so that my eyeshadow slides or glides well on there I like to just use my vanilla dust setting powder which is also right here my setting powder in my compact so just take it and go over my highlighter really quick just to make it smooth and set that primer on there all right so now I'm going to go in. This is my triple decker, so I'm going to go down to the bottom layer. Layer. This is my personal compact. That's where I have my eyeshadows. So I want to pick a transition color, which is typically a medium matte, and I have hooded eyes, so I put my color just a little bit above my crease. I'm going to go into Puff, this really pretty light taupe color, and I'm just going to get some on, and then I keep my eyes open so I can see where I'm placing it, because if I place it in my crease, you're not even going to be able to see it. So I just put it above my crease there. And just windshield wiper it on. You can swirl, you can go in circles. This is the eyeshadow everything brush, which is the bomb for eyeshadow looks. I use it every single day and I love it. Okay, so I have my pup on. Now I'm gonna go into my next color. I am going to put a little bit of shimmer on today because I'm dressed a little wild. I have my leopard skin. You can pick any color you want, but I'm going to go into Blondie, this gold shimmer here, and I'm going to put that on my eyelid. So what I want to do is just get a little bit on my brush. I'm going to get a mirror so I can see better because I can't see from that far away to get it. So I'm going to go along my lash line with Blondie, just feathering that in, just back and forth along my lash line get that on there and then I'm going to blend those and that can be your two color look if you just want two colors you can go with just that but I'm going to show you a couple more steps to amp it up a little bit okay same thing on this one I'm just going into along my lash line and then I'm going to blend it up and soften that look and that can be the two color look if that's all I want. You don't have to be careful because with this cream makeup, it's so easy to clean up. I'm gonna show you how to do that. I could do my mascara and my brows and be done if I was in a hurry and go right on with that. But I'm gonna add a little bit more. So I'm gonna go in and add Foxy, which Foxy is a light kind of coppery shimmer color. Kind of goes with what I have on today. So I'm gonna go in with Foxy, just a, a medium, with a little bit of shimmer, not too much, but a little bit of shimmer, okay? Taking my mirror so I can see. Now I'm gonna put that in this outer corner, right about to midway on my eyelid itself. Just give me some warmth and some depth. And then I have green eyes, but Foxy goes with most colors. But because this is a medium tone, it's such a pretty color, I'm gonna flip my brush over and grab a little bit of that Foxy and then just run it underneath my lash line to give me just a little bit of color and warmth there. It gives such depth and warmth. So I'm just gonna run a little bit of that Foxy under my lash line, just warms my eye up. And I'm gonna go back to the other eye, just getting Foxy on here. I'm going over to this corner doing the same thing. Just putting it in that outer corner Right there, make sure I have them even. Just a touch more, then I'm gonna flip it over. I'm gonna take some under my lash line, just like I did on the other eye. Just 
just to warm it up and add some color in there. Okay, now I could be done, put my, and this would probably be a day look for me, put my mascara on, do my brows, and I'd be done. But if I was gonna go out somewhere at night and I wanted to just amp it up just a little bit more, I would go in and grab this dark brown trust right here. So I'm just gonna take, use the small end of the eyeshadow everything brush, grab a little bit of that trust. I have to get my mirrors because I have, wear bifocals. And I'm gonna go into the crease itself and then make a V here above my lash line. Just go into the crease, let me fix that a little. Then I'm gonna blend it. Just blend it in here, just swirl it and blend it really well. Give me a little bit of depth. If I want to, I can take what's left on the brush just on the outer corner on the bottom, kind of smoke it out just a little bit. See the difference, this really amped it up a little bit. So now I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Okay, going in to my crease and above my lash line. This is Trust, a deeper color to give me a little bit more warmth and smoke it out there. Oh, I had too much on that brush there, but that's okay, because I can fix it. I can go in with just a little bit, Go back to my lighter color. Had some on the other end, didn't even realize it. Let's see if we can blend this out. Oh, they're almost the same anyway. I'm gonna get a little bit of Foxy. Put back right here in the middle. Then we go back to my pup and blend this top out just a little bit, that lighter pup. Okay, there. Now we'll go back. You can fix just about anything without having to start over. All right, and then just blend it. There we go. Put a little bit on that bottom lash line, just on the corner there. Now, I'm gonna show you a trick. I wasn't super careful because I wanted to show you guys how to clean it up. So I'm going back to my Buffy brush and to my main highlight color. Just gonna get that, grab my brush, put just a little touch on it, and then just swipe it and clean it up. Gives me a nice, crisp, clean line there. Fixes any mistakes I made. Gives me the perfect, clean line. And then I'm done. Just have to put mascara and do my brows and call it a day or a night, whichever the case might be. Okay, if y'all have any questions, just drop them in the message in the comments below or send me a private message. I'm happy to help you guys. Have a great day.